What's up, heist masters and lone wolves? Today, we're diving into the gritty world of Payday 3, a game that's been a roller coaster of high stakes and high drama since its launch. But the burning question on everyone's mind is the newly announced offline mode the saving grace we've been waiting for, or is it a case of too little, too late? Let's crack the safe and find out. Four months post launch, and Payday 3 has been like a heist gone wrong full of bugs, mishaps, and frustrated players. But Starbreeze Studios isn't ready to give up the ghost. They're planning a comeback, starting with the much requested offline mode. Sounds great, right? Well, there's a catch. Starbreeze CEO Tobias S. Jurgren has been talking big about making Payday 3 the game it was meant to be, promising a standalone solo mode that bypasses the matchmaking mayhem. But here's where it gets tricky. This offline mode isn't exactly offline. You'll still need an internet connection for player progression, making it more of a solo play with AI buddies than a true offline experience. So, what are we getting? A chance to dive into heists without the chaos of matchmaking, but with all the strings of online play still attached. And while a dedicated offline mode is on the horizon, it's not here yet. Plus, any dreams of Payday 3 moving to Unreal Engine 5 have been shelved, while the team focuses on fixing the core game. It's no secret that Payday 3's launch left players wanting more. And with sales not hitting the mark, Starbreeze is in a tough spot. But there's a silver lining. The game's gunplay and progression have been praised, proving there's still gold to be mined if you're willing to overlook its flaws. And here's where you come in, crew. Starbreeze is listening, and they want your input on how to steer Payday 3 back on course. Whether it's fixing bugs, adding features, or just making the game more accessible, your voice matters. So, what do you think? Is Payday 3's offline mode a step in the right direction, or is it too little, too late for this heist? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you've got ideas for Payday 3's comeback, let's hear them. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more gaming news and reviews. Until next time, keep your masks on and your loot bags full. Personal Opinion The introduction of an offline mode in Payday 3 is a bittersweet update for fans of the franchise. On one hand, it's a step towards addressing community feedback and enhancing the player experience by offering a way to enjoy the game without the hassle of matchmaking. On the other, the requirement for an internet connection, even in this solo mode, feels like a missed opportunity to truly cater to the offline player base. The decision to focus on refining the existing game rather than upgrading to Unreal Engine 5 is understandable, but also raises questions about the future potential of Payday 3. Despite these challenges, there's an undeniable charm to Payday 3's chaotic heists and engaging gameplay that keeps us coming back for more. As Starbreeze Studios navigates these turbulent waters, it's clear that the community's support and feedback will be crucial in shaping the game's destiny. Here's hoping the offline mode is just the first of many successful heists in Payday 3's journey towards redemption.